our minds. Um, we've had a couple nice days of weather. Everything's pretty well thawed. I <laughs> suspect that we'll get more snow because it's Michigan, but um, I filmed a small bit in the greenhouse the other day and I filmed a, a little bit of me doing a little bit of like just yard repair maintenance today because um, it was nice out. It's a little gloomy now. The sun was out. It's kind of gloomy now. Um, but it, it's at least like 50. Nonetheless, nice. That was that was very smooth. Addie, stand up so she doesn't fall. Stand up, Ad, so she can get up. Um, so I had... We had a pile of leaves that got left in the yard over the winter. And I raked them up yesterday. So, like, there's just this big nasty patch in the middle of the backyard. But it's fine. Um, I've got my leaves. I'm going to end up throwing those into the garden after I get some of the dead stuff out. But to be perfectly honest, um, I still have straw out here. I have straw and then my garden sits underneath this giant pine tree, which is like a small blessing because pine needles are, are really good mulch, but also the pain of my existence because it's like a hundred years old at least. Like it's as old as our house or older and it's huge and the branches and small limbs are constantly falling from this thing and like we had a branch fall on our fence over there our yeah we had a branch fall on our fence and it knocked the fence panel down and busted it up some and like our neighbors were nice they came and cut up the branch when the snow thawed and put our fence back up but you know our fence our fence panel got smashed so it was like oh not ideal of course I know literally everyone's like, is it really that big of a deal? Your fence is rotten. I'm like, it's, it's part of the look. Come on. It's weathered. Yeah, it might be rotten, but it was still privacy. <laughs> and like, it's fine if it's rotten, but it's still there. Um, maybe we'll replace it this year. We'll see. I doubt it because it's not that big of a deal, to be honest. Our animals don't try to, like, our animals don't run, our children don't run, I'm not worried about it. Um, but, we did a little cleanup here. I'm probably going to do some more cleanup. Um, I'm going to get some of this just dead stuff out. I'm not going to move those because I'm going to keep my beans right there. Some beans. Um, I'm going to keep some beans there, and I'll probably do a succession so of a different type of beans in that same spot. But I, I think, like, I don't know. I have all this rock. This was, so this was originally a hot tub. When we bought the house, there was a deck and a hot tub here and we have very small children and I didn't want a hot tub and we didn't want to pay for a hot tub to run. And you know, it's just not the safest. I wanted a garden instead. So I personally, while I was <laughs> atrociously pregnant, um, ripped this whole deck up. I ripped up the top of the deck. I actually, I obviously left the frame because it made for some nice, just like division in the garden bed. And every year I will add basically whatever's left of like my potting soil from the winter, just cheap potting soil from the winter um, that I use for my house plants and herbs and stuff that I have in the garden. I'll come and I'll dump it or any like old soil basically from repotting house plants through the season. I'll come and I'll just dump it out here. And then we have a compost pile, and I will, when I turn my compost pile, because it's just a very large pile, and I get my pitchfork, and when I turn it, I'll take fresh compost, and I'll put it here. And then, obviously, the pine needles fall. Um, sometimes I layer straw through some things. It just depends. Not everything gets straw. And then leaves, dead leaves from the yard, also go on there. So it's a pretty nutrient-dense bed, and I get lots of volunteer plants from seasons past um <laughs> which will be exciting to see what comes up volunteer this year i have a lot of stuff that i plan on trying even maybe just like one or two plants of each thing as well as i plan on doing a ton and ton of tomatoes because i literally have one jar of tomatoes downstairs that i've been saving for weeks because it's my last jar we ran out of tomatoes somehow we somehow ran out of tomatoes i think i had at least two dozen maybe 30 jars of tomatoes and i was so impressed with myself and then in the end i'm like we ran out i don't know how that happened 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a ton more tomatoes and different kinds. I if I don't know if you if if you follow there, I have older content from last canning season, and I canned some of my cherry and grape tomato varieties together. Um, my what are they? Sun sunburst or sun gold little tomatoes and my mom gave me little tiny black cherry tomatoes and then just regular cherry tomatoes and I made a medley and put fresh basil leaves and I canned them like that and it is my favorite thing ever and I'm gonna do 50 of those and maybe even 100 because I'm gonna give them the gift for everyone because it's amazing best idea I ever had um so moving on I, I have some other these were from my squashes. We're probably, I don't know if I'm going to try to trellis up my squashes like that. I really have been trying to convince my husband. I, I want to get some cattle panel. And um, that's why I had turned this spot here, which is a disgusting mess right now, into like my viney stuff bed. So I had some, I had some beans with like a tomato cage that worked well. Um, and then I had my my pickling cucumbers and some fancy cucumbers that someone had given me and my butternut squash and the honey nut squash that I found. I only got two of those squashes and only one was good, but it was so cute and it was so delicious. So I'm going to do more of those. And obviously I have to have butternuts. We had so many butternuts the first year I did it. I was just, I had them out the way. I was giving them away by like the handfuls. And then last year I had just enough because um, we have two left and one of them I don't think is good. Um, it didn't quite ripen on the vine and like it just has looked weird this whole time. It's been like <laughs> it's been sitting on my shelf and it just looks weird. So I think when I cut it open it'll, it'll be weird but um, I, everything's looking really good. My strawberries are still green and so like expanding. They have runners. In the winter and I have dead strawberries on them you know from the cold they started to bud again they're ever bearing I had gotten them I think at like Home Depot as a last minute purchase because I had some lettuce that I harvested and it it died so I had a spot open and I had some ever bearing strawberries and boy it gave me one strawberry every other day on until the second snow we got um, I have a short, I have a short somewhere where there is like a buds, there's white buds and a red strawberry on this thing after our first snow around Thanksgiving and like, I don't, I don't understand it. <laughs> but, um, I'm definitely, I don't know, I think I'm going to do two different varieties of pickling cucumbers and probably zucchini because we made a ton of zucchini bread and I've always had to buy zucchini from the store or get them from my mother and my mother didn't even grow any last year so we're gonna have to handle that ourselves and I'm probably gonna be expanding herb beds to the front because it gets more sun um, so I'm probably gonna have a variety of our con conflowers and all of our herb and probably like flowers that we would use for teas and stuff. My daughter is really fond of chamomile. Um, she loves to grow mint for tea, fresh mint tea and fresh chamomile and clover. This dead spot in the yard that I accidentally made with the leaves is probably gonna be reseeded with clover, um, which my children don't even mind. They like to chase bumblebees. <laughs> so. Uh, stay tuned. We'll see the progress. Um, probably gonna get in the greenhouse pretty soon for some seeding. Um, I've got a few herb seeds started in the kitchen, but we're gonna get really going um, after this weekend with getting some seeds started for everything. Almost just everything. I like to I like to do some succession sowing and have things going in the greenhouse, waiting to go into the ground experimenting with different places we we have a very small strange lot um our house takes up most of it we've got like a privacy fence that is kind of even shady so we have to be i have to be strategic about where i place things um which makes it interesting we have to experiment here and there so um stay tuned it's gonna be a good season